Zach here from ReactJS News and today I'm going to be showing you how to build your first ES6 React component. This will be perfect for beginners who have never made a component before. Uh, you might want to have looked at the docs a little bit for ReactJS because I'm not going to dumb it down that far. But this should be perfect for getting your hands dirty and doing a little bit more than you'll probably understand fully which is a good thing I think because after this video you'll want to keep looking up how to do more stuff and how to understand fully everything that I'm talking about. So to get started here, we're going to build this class. We need to get React in here. You will not have to worry about transpiling or anything like that because we're going to be using, first off, we've got to npm install React, but we're going to be using this React view thing I made that just compiles it, opens it up in the browser for you. Uh, you just got to do npm install React view, and it has to be dash G. We'll let that run and get started. So we'll make this class, and we'll just call it test. When you're making a component, you want to capitalize the first letter, but any other time you want to use camel case. Um, so the way you make a React class is you want to do class, and then the name of it extends React.component. So every React class or component, it's kind of an interchangeable term now, um, a React class, React component, will have a render method. Uh, this is where you'll spit out whatever HTML and we'll just do a div right here and say, OMG, this really works. And now let's close out that div. So let's save it. And then let's see it in our browser. All you got to do is react view and then the name of it. Just test.jsx. And OK. OMG, this really works. So let's inspect it here real quick. And you'll see that it has a React ID, which React will use when you're changing the DOM. It won't do an operation if something didn't actually change. So let's head back into Sublime. Let's add a little bit of interactivity here. Well, we'll add some interactivity after we get to understand how state works. So let's say this.state.text. We're gonna put this dot state that text right here. You might be wondering, what does this even mean? Where's this even? Where's this state thing coming from? So in React, the only way to call the render method is when the state changes. Anytime something in here needs to be changed, you'll be modifying the state. And so first off, we need to get an initial state, which you'll start. You'll do that by making a constructor, and we'll call super here, and then we'll say this dot state. Let's just make it equal to an object, and then let's say text equals default text. So let's save that, and this should work just fine, and it should say default text right here. So let's see if that's true. Boom, default text. So you might not think that's really cool, but this is really cool when you really think about it and get to start using it. Because anytime you change the state, the render method gets called, and then boom, everything is updated. It's really awesome, really nice. So, how would we go about changing this? Let's add a little button right here. And let's make it say, change the text. And now let's make a function up here called change text. And the way we change the state is we can call this dot set state, and then you pass it whatever state variables you want to change. So let's say the text now equals this is changed. And then if we want this to actually get called, when you click on the button, all you gotta do is add a little on click here. Oops, missed the MVP. That is very embarrassing. So then let's say change text, and since we're using an ES6 component you do have to bind this. If you didn't do bind this, first I'll show you what happens. Obviously <laughs> you have to say this.bind this.change text also. Well I didn't save the component so this will not work right. Hold up. My computer is lagging like crazy. Okay, so now it says change this text. Let's open up the console here. 
and set state of undefined because the context of this in here is not the same context out here which is why I need to bind this. When you're using react.create class um, you're probably new to react and don't haven't even bothered using that it automatically binds this to any functions you put in here. So now that we save that let's close these Now let's head back in here and let's run it. So now when we change the text we're not going to get an error. And this is insane. My computer is lagging horribly. Boom, this has changed. So now we'll go through that again really quick. I'm going to end this here because my computer is crapping out on me. <laughs> so what we did here was we set up the constructor and we set the state to text equal to the default text and then the render method gets called after the constructor is all set up and it says default text. Then we added a button that has an on click and when we click it it sets the state of text to this is changed and then react re-renders and changes this part to what we just said. So if you like this video, uh, let me know. I know there are some mistakes in it. My computer was a little laggy. Yeah, you know. Let me know what you think in the comments if you want me to make another video, etc. Thanks a lot for watching.